Hi new field artists, I hope you're all doing well. I am excited to show you how you can create your own pop-up card today and we're going to be creating one in honor of Earth Day and I will show you what it's going to start looking like. So here I have created the earth and I will be showing you how you can fill it in a little bit more um, but it's kind of a nice little pop-up card that we're going to make together. So let's get started. All right, so the supplies you're going to need are a sheet of paper. You, of course, you can use a white piece of paper. I just happen to have some colored paper laying around. So I have a green piece of paper here. You're gonna need something that is round. Uh, so I have this bowl. You can use a plate. You can use the cover to a container or anything else that you find that is a circle because we're going to be tracing that. I also have a pencil. I have also some colored pencils. I have some different shades of blue and green for the earth. I also have a sharpie. I have some other markers here but really you can use any supplies you have at home and that will work just fine. So the first thing we're going to do is fold our piece of paper in half. So I'm just making those edges match and I'm pressing nice and hard to get that crease to stay. And then I'm going to take my bowl. So this is where we're getting that circular shape and I'm going to line it up right at the fold that's here. So not the open part, but the folded part. And I really just want to trace half of that circle. So I'm lining it up kind of right in the middle and I'm going to hold it down and I'm just going to use my pencil to trace. Okay, now that I've used the bowl to trace my semicircle, I'm going to take it away. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to take a marker just so that I know uh, where I'm going to cut so I can see this line a little bit better and I'm just going to trace the bottom and the top curves of this semicircle so I'm not tracing the whole Thing that I just got from the bowl. So I'm leaving this part there. I'm not going to cut that. And I'm going to take my scissors and I'm rotating as I'm cutting. And I'm only going to cut where I just traced with my marker. So nothing is coming off. I'm keeping it like this. And then I can just kind okay. of, so I'm taking the part that I just cut and I'm just folding it up just like that. I'm doing it and then I'm just going to open up the card here and since this is the part that we want to pop out when we open it, we're just going to fold it the other way. So right here I'm just making that crease go the other direction and I'm going to Try to fold this card just like that. And again, anywhere where I've made a fold, I'm just going to go over it one more time just so that it really remembers its place. So now that when I open this, I have the middle part that pops up right there. Okay, now I'm going to take a, you could do this with a pencil. I happen to have some colored pencils here. And I'm just going to use a black colored pencil just to give it a little outline. So I want to get that whole circle just retraced so I don't lose any of my lines. So really on the sides, I'm just going back and giving it that full circle shape. Like that, and I'm going to be going back and coloring this in so it doesn't need to be perfect, but that's where I'm at right now. And then I'm going to be drawing in some shapes for th some different continents that I would see for the earth. And you can look in the slides on this lesson to see some pictures of a globe and what the continents actually look like. But really what you could do is you could just kind of, okay, so I'm going to do my best to draw some lines in here that are going to create shapes to represent our wonderful continents. 
and this might be part of North America, maybe Florida's down here, South America, let's see just part of it, depending on the angle that you're looking at, maybe you would see some islands, maybe one over here, bring this over, do 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 do. All right, so I'm going to go with that. And again, it doesn't have to look just like this. You can do it from a totally different angle. You can look at those images in the slides, or maybe you have a globe at home that you could look at, or maybe you can make this more abstract and just kind of create your own lines. That would be fine too. So you can choose to, of course, work with any coloring supplies you have at home. I have used colored pencils here to color in the earth. I have some different shades of blue and green that I worked with. And if you could kind of tell, I used a little bit more pressure around the edges. And that kind of gives it a more three-dimensional look. Um, so that's kind of neat if you want to try to do that. And I've also went back, I've went back and I added an outline in Sharpie just so that my continents pop a little bit more. So we can really get creative with the rest of this. Since this is a card, you can write your own message. I'm going to make this say Happy Earth Day, kind of going around the earth. You could maybe choose a different message. Maybe it would say Earth Day, Every Day, or I Love the Earth, or Healthy Earth. Anything like that will do. And I'm gonna do that with my Sharpie. Here we go. So from here you can choose, maybe you want to make the background look like a galaxy, outer space. You can draw things in, you can draw some stars or different planets in there. Um, what I've done actually is cut out, since I have a colored piece of paper that I worked with, I cut out some stars. I also cut out a heart. I'm going to be putting that in the middle of the earth. So it could become kind of a mixed media project using some different materials. Maybe you're going to work in some collage. So I'm going to glue, using my glue stick, some of these things down now.
have it. So that is my Earth Day card. I outlined a little bit in my black Sharpie just to make the stars and that heart in the middle pop a little bit more. Um, you can, uh, this is a nice idea, even if you would like to do something different, maybe you can use the circle to do maybe a, a, somebody's face or a cool emoji. You could use yellow paper for that. So you could do lots of different things with this pop out card. Um, I hope you have fun with it and be sure to see the slides for more information on Earth Day and different ways you can celebrate even from home. I hope you had fun doing this. Um, be sure to take pictures and post on the stream for us. We'd love to see, as always, your beautiful artwork. And, oh, I have to turn my picture around so you can see, so you can read that. Can you read that message? We miss you. See you later.